Hello once again, I'm Kevin Turner from Real Estate Talk and in the February edition of Australian Property Investor magazine, uh, Shannon Malloy has written an article, Tracing Back Where Are They Now? Some of the young investors who have been interviewed in recent times and one of those is Matthew Mandel from Townsville who was originally interviewed back in December 2009 and at the time Matthew was then in the Army, but uh, there have been some changes in Matthew's life, and he joins us now. Hi, Matthew. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. I think when the um, when uh, API first spoke to you back in December 2009, you were in the Army then. And um, what's changed in your life since then, Matthew? Uh, so after I was last spoken to, yeah, it was full-time Army officer working out of Labrack Barracks here in Townsville, um, and then very quickly decided to transition to be a full-time property investor, to buy properties, renovate them, and then on-sell them. Yep. Uh, and it was purely by chance that I got uh, interviewed by a real estate agent owner here in Townsville and became a real estate agent myself. Wonderful. Well, in, in uh, Shannon's article in the February edition of API, he traces that story, goes back and revisits some of those facts from 2009. But I want to pick up from that, if I could, uh, and just talk to you about the GFC, because you, you had a few challenges uh, in the wake of the GFC. That's right, yeah. The GFC really threw myself and a lot of other uh, investors a bit of a curveball. Uh, at the time, I just recently purchased a, a high-set Queenslander in one of the suburbs, Hermit Park here in Townsville. Uh, I was in the process of renovating that when we saw the first signs that property values were declining. Uh, and then it, it pretty much blew our margins out of the water to be able to on-sell that for a profit. Tell me, uh, what are the pros and cons as you see them of, of a renovation strategy, which is what you're pursuing now? Um, the pros are definitely the ability to be able to work under your own timeline, set your own direction, your own goals and targets. Uh, the cons are, I'd say, you really have to pick your market and your timing. Uh, for a lot of the investors out there, they would agree that a rising market is the best time to be doing renovations if you're looking to on-sell quickly. Um, when you start getting into a either flat, plateauing market or a declining market, uh, there just isn't a lot of scope unless you can substantially add value to your property uh, to be able to ride a wave of incre increasing prices. Yeah. You talked there about a changing market. Uh, you, you're a set and forget investor, which uh, I take it really means you you set something up and then you just leave it, leave it rest there. How important, therefore, is it for you when you're buying your property to pick the market well? Uh, I've changed my strategy. Uh, so previously, or, you know, prior GFC, I was very much a buy, renovate and sell. Um, but now that we have had that change of market, I've completely transitioned to more um, near new or near property or new properties yep. with a full depreciation schedule and just trying to maximise that tax benefits. And I will, for all my properties in the future, unless the market changes, just leave them ticking along for that you know, 10, 15, 20 year time frame. And your portfolio now, could you tell me um, how it's made up? How big is it? Uh, so we've got uh, a unit in the Townsville city here. We've got a, a house in one of the outlying suburbs in Townsville. Uh, we've got a house down in the outskirts of Melbourne in Holland, Victoria. Uh, and we're currently just finished, uh, had a brand new unit built uh, in the Townsville CBD. Yeah. And that's what we're transitioning to. We're going to focus less on existing properties and more on those new builds or, or we will build ourselves. When you say we, uh, I know you're 30 years old. Have you got a partner in the business with you? Uh, so, yeah, my partner, well, my fiance Paula, uh, we're getting married next year. She's joined me on this journey. Yep. Um, she was involved with our house in Hermit Park and then this uh, uh, next two properties that we've purchased. And yeah, we've combined all of our funds to be able to, to buy bigger properties and buy more properties. Yeah, Wonderful stuff. Now, Matthew, you told us that, well, we know you were previously a soldier. You're now a real estate agent. What, what about the professional similarities between those two? Is there anything you've been able to transition from one to the other? Uh, the jobs are actually very similar. Um, Real estate agents get taglined as salespeople. I, I really believe that the actual selling part of being a real estate agent is only about 20% of the job. The rest of the job is giving sellers or vendors a plan, an ability and a process to get their property up on the market 
presented and marketed as well as they can, and then ultimately get a sale. Uh, much the same as when I was in the military. Uh, it was basically about having a problem, developing a plan to solve that, and then allocating the resources to do it. I imagine that uh, buyers and sellers would have a lot of confidence dealing with you, given that you are you're in the market, very much in the market. You understand it, and you've got a confidence in it. Um, is that what you're finding? Um, yeah, my favourite vendors to deal with are people who are going through that renovation uh, phase, or they're adding value to their property because I'm able to draw on my own experience. Um, but we sometimes, as agents, forget that we do this every year, or sorry, yeah. every day. But sellers may only sell, you know, yeah. three or four times in a lifetime. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, every every client we get is really just entering that phase of how do we actually go about selling a property. Yeah. Uh, we'll certainly pick up the article that's in the February edition of Australian Property Investor magazine written by Shannon. Uh, it's a great read about uh, Matthew. Matthew, just in summing up, can you just tell us uh, one or two of the highlights so far of your investment journey? Uh, definitely being able to see a finished product when you've completed a renovation, to step back and, and see either that new kitchen or new bathroom that you've had put in or done yourself. And I know a lot of renovators are very hands-on themselves. Um, and I certainly think that the highlight for anybody buying property is when you buy your first property to when settlement occurs and you get handed the keys, go out into the backyard and, and that's your piece of Australia. Yep. Um, yeah, that's a wonderful feeling. It's a great feeling, isn't it? Yeah. yeah Matthew, I want to wish you every success. Thank you for giving us your time today and uh, we look forward to talking to you again really soon. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Cheers.